In today's Tech Tip, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the garden variety Smith & Wesson M&P pistol. Now there's a lot of modifications that can be done to this gun and they're very, very versatile. And the reason we're talking about this today is because you may have noticed there's a lot of M&Ps out there because of Smith & Wesson promotions, sales, rebates, and you're going to find a lot of these guns at good prices, both new and used. So let's take a look at what we can actually do with one. My favorite thing to do to an M&P, besides shoot it, is to get one of these performance center kits. And these are cool. These are ported slides. This is a nine millimeter long slide. It's got the ported barrel and the ports in the slide up at front here and the suppressor height sights. This is really a nice, nice addition to your gun. It also comes with these performance center inserts, which as far as I know are not for sale separately. You can't buy them. And the reason I like these and make a big deal out of these is because they're rubberized and they give you a better grip than either the 2.0 inserts or the standard inserts, at least in my opinion. So I love these things. I put them on everything I can. So you can take your basic frame here. And if you know how to get your old slide off, you can get this one on, install it. That's all there is to it. And you've got a 9 millimeter ported sl long slide ready to go or a 40 if you prefer. These come in 40 also. Now, speaking of 40s, this is also a ported 40. And it's the short version. So when you hold these two up, you've got the comparison here. One is just a little bit longer than the other. It depends on how much sight radius you want. I thought the short 40 would be pretty cool to have compensated. It's like a Glock uh, 22C, only just looks a lot different. Both of these guns have had Apex triggers installed in them, Apex trigger and sear kits, actually. So they've got a really nice trigger pull, better than the actual M&P 2.0 even. And remember, these are just the basic stock M&Ps. These are not the 2.0s. These slides will not go on a 2.0. Now, let's look at this uh, 40 for a second. This is standard length. I've got a 40 caliber barrel in here, ported, and a 40 caliber breech face. I also have a Storm Lake 40 caliber barrel with no ports. So I'm, if I'm tired of seeing fire come out the front, I can put this barrel in. If I want to convert it to 357 SIG, I can put this barrel in from Storm Lake. And if I want to shoot 9mm, all I have to do is get a 9mm magazine. And this conversion barrel here, it's a 9mm C barrel, you'll notice. And I can shoot 9mm all day. Just like converting a Glock over to 9mm, you can do the same thing with an M&P. So there's a lot of upgrades you can do to this gun. You can do the slide, you can do the trigger, you can port it, you can change the caliber. And like I said, you're going to see a lot of these guns on the market at some really good prices. So don't overlook the M&P when you're out shopping for a new gun. I know there's a lot of good polymer guns out there, but this is pretty close to the top of the heap. And right now, they're a bargain. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.